Hi folks, this is Jason. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. I am. I just want to do a ten-part series tonight uh, on Richard Dawkins. Uh, I've just been watching him on Al Jazeera TV. Uh, I've just got in. Uh, I just missed the first few minutes of uh, the discussion and debate. I don't know if he was debated at Oxford or at Cambridge. I couldn't work it out because uh, I just missed the. Um, the first few minutes of the di of the discussion and basically he was debating um, a journalist, a Muslim journalist and there were, it, the hall was packed with atheists and Muslims mainly um, and that was the discussion so if anybody has any more details about what that discussion was if they could send us a link I'd be very grateful but I've just finished watching it, it was about uh, I, I watched about half an hour, maybe 40 minutes of, of the discussion and debate and, and so I just want to go over some of the issues that he shared uh, and to unpack it and uh, so I invite everybody to come in and discuss um, uh, these uh, topics that are on this uh, on this series and uh, someone asked him uh, he was complaining that uh, religion doesn't have any evidence uh, and uh, that uh, he is proclaiming the truth as it were and he was asked a question about how can something come from nothing how can the universe just pop up from nowhere and how how can you believe in a multi-story universe that there are there are multi universes it universe universes out there and um, the Muslim person he was he was debating also mentioned how come you can take this as as uh, this kind of uh, high-handed position where you say religion doesn't have any evidence but at the same time there's no evidence for a, a multi-universe theory and yet Dawkins and others can pontificate about these things and Dawkins answer was well they're physicists and then the Muslim debater said well you know there are a variety of physicists who have a variety of opinions on this <laughs> one physicist says it's a mystery and Dawkins said well that's okay and he said well if it, so it's okay if a physicist believes in mystery but a person who's religious believes in mystery it's not you know so there's a lot of um, kind of arguments going around concerning this question about something from nothing and this issue about multi multi universes so the question I have to ask for atheists is, is that question. Don't you think it's a bit rich when you say that there's no evidence, for, for example, for the Christian faith, yet you're, you pontificate about a multi-universe multi theory without any evidence and hold on to this, can hold on to this tenaciously. And where is your evidence that that if you, if, if you take a different position on this multi-theory universe mu uh, this theory of a multi-universe how can you explain something com coming from nothing what evidence do you have that that can happen uh, from a universe perspective and if you haven't got any evidence don't you think it's a bit um, cheeky really to turn around and say to Christians you haven't got any evidence when for some of the basic foundations of your own beliefs that you don't have any evidence but the Christian faith does have evidence there's evidence that Jesus died on a cross there's evidence that he rose from the dead and uh, if you want to listen to lectures about that uh, Gary Habermas uh, on the resurrection of Christ debating Anthony Flew is a it's a good place to start if you want evidence on the resurrection of Christ okay so I'll be interested to hear what uh, you you have to say I just feel that for me Richard Dawkins sounded more like a, an evangelist at Christmas for atheism but an evangelist without any real rationality I thought he was ag arrogant I thought he was ignorant and I challenge you Richard Dawkins to a debate next year name the day and I'll come and debate you sir because I feel that you are ignorant and you're propagating ignorance and you're just an evangelist for atheism and you were do you've been doing your evangelism at Christmas 
and um, I personally was not impressed sir okay